So I've got my Holga 120N for Holga Week. I'm gonna try to shoot some landscapes. I have 125 film in here, uh, FP4. I'm not sure if the pictures are gonna come out because this is so bright, but we'll try. that these are going to be too bright. Today's the last day of Holga week, so I'm gonna try to see if I can get some pictures with my Holga. Damn it. <laughs> oh, I skipped over to number one. The sun is so bright because it's, it's like four o'clock. Hopefully it doesn't blow away. Yeah, I brought several. I brought color and black and white film. It's a cool tree.
Welcome back guys. So first off, I'd like to apologize for that footage that you just saw. Some of it was a bit shaky um, because my usual camera woman was the model that day. So I had to film everything at the same time as shooting all the pictures. So um, I was kind of all over the place. So I apologize for that, but I hope you enjoyed the footage and I hope you enjoyed the pictures. Now I just wanted to talk a little bit about the pictures and a little bit about the camera. I've got the Holga. 120N right here and I got this camera for Christmas last year I had specifically asked for it because I was hoping to join Holga week this year and Holga week is October 1st all the way to the 7th you shoot pictures all that week using a Holga camera and then you have until November 8th you submit your three favorite photos and then then there will be a couple of categories with different judges in them and Maybe I have a chance of winning, I don't know if I will, but I still had a lot of fun. I just wanted to participate this time and I was glad that I got this for Christmas. It came in a package with the camera, a strap, a lens cap, and actually it came with a roll of HP5, Ilford's HP5. So it's a really nice little kit and of course it's a plastic fantastic so you're not going to get like awesome pictures taken with it but that I think is the point. These kind of cameras, just like old box cameras, they're going to give you creative results with vignetting and soft focus and light leaks and things that you would normally not want in your photographs but if you're looking to be artistic those kinds of things really do add to your composition. So the original Holga was created in the 1980s by a man in Hong Kong. He wanted to create an affordable camera for the everyday Chinese family to be able to just take snapshots. He made a 120 film camera because that's what was readily available in China at the time, but also at the same time, 35 millimeter film was becoming popular. So his camera wasn't selling too well over there. So he started selling it overseas up until 2015 when film kind of became obsolete and it wasn't until 2017 that another factory took the molds from the original creator and started to create the Holgas that we know today that are being created like this 120N. So these photos that I took in tradition of the lake and the town hall you can see that they have vignetting in the corners and soft focus to them which i thought gave them a really nice effect almost making it look like a haunted building or something or these shots were a little bit easier to take because the lens uses zone focus so i was able to just set it to infinity and take these pictures because they were far away in general i'm not good with zone focusing so that was my one big issue with this camera was trying to figure out how far away my subjects were trying to guess that in the moment um, but I did take some pretty good pictures I was happy with these pictures I took of my fiance at the park um, and was able to take some portraits of her I experimented also with the different settings because the shutter um, is 1 100th of a second and then you only get two aperture settings the Sun which is for f11 and then the shade which is for f8 which really isn't much of a difference you don't get to adjust much in different lighting situations so I wanted to put it through some tests to see what it would do in different lighting and here I got a picture of my fiance outside in the shade the sunlight dappled on her and I really like that picture I have a couple more of her in the shade of a tree I also wanted to test out the hot shoe that's on top and so I used a flash an external flash I have and was able to take a shot here you see my my fiance in the bathroom getting ready and I was really surprised how nicely it lit it up um, and then of course at the park I took pictures of my fiance um, for the contest um, and it was really bright conditions so I used the f11 aperture on that uh, for the sunny conditions and they seemed to come out really good I was worried they were gonna be too bright so for the zone focusing you have a picture of one person and that's for anything three feet away and then you have two people and that's for anything six feet away and then you have a group of people which is for any subjects 18 feet or more and then you have the mountain which is probably infinity that's anything 30 feet or more away um, so really the challenge with th this kind of camera is you don't um, you can't tell through the viewfinder whether or not you're in focus you have to just guess the distance of your subject and hope that you're correct once you get the hang of of using this kind of system it becomes like second nature after a while I was I was a lot better at it so if you'd like to see a full review of the Holga please 
Um, check out my website. I have all kinds of reviews on there as well as my latest review of the Holga 120N and my experience with it. I'll link that down in the description below. I'll also put a link to the Holga Week website if you want to check that out. You can also find my, my social media links down in the description as well if you'd like to go check out more of my work. I'll be um, announcing a zine pretty soon that I've been working on for a long time. I'm pretty nervous about that, but I figured it'd be something nice to do to help supplement this channel and the website so that instead of you know just asking for donations, at least you can buy something and get something in return for that donation thing. This gets pretty expensive after a while, so thank you to everybody who has um, sent me donations. It means so much to me. Um, you can't, I can't even explain it. it, and it means a lot to me when you guys comment, when you like, when you share, when you subscribe, any of that tells me that all the hard work that I put into these videos is being appreciated so I really really am thankful for you guys to, for doing that so as usual of course I gotta ask please hit that thumbs up please hit that subscribe button and the bell so that you'll be notified when I do put my next video up and until next time of course stay motivated and keep shooting